This video demonstrates how to take measurements of a transtibial residual limb for the OSER portal. Keep in mind that all measurements and scanning should be performed with the amputee wearing the type and thickness liner they will use with the new socket. For ordering a custom fabricated transtibial socket, both measurements and a scan are required. The scan provides limb shape to the designer, while measurements provide limb size. The first step is to wrap the limb with plastic wrap to protect the liner fabric from your marker. Then, cover the limb with a nylon. Next, identify the key landmarks on the nylon with a marker. Key landmarks include the patella, mid-patellar tendon, tibia, fibula head, and other areas of concern. The scanning process captures these landmarks for the designer to use during the modification process. To begin, press the Measurements tab inside the portal. Then, press Patient and Socket. Next, select the date of measurement and press OK. This patient has a size 28 seal-in X-liner. His weight is 180 pounds and he is 5 feet 10 inches. Let's start by measuring the length of the residual limb. Using a length gauge or hard measurement stick, first place one end of the length gauge even with the mid-patellar tendon. Then measure down to a point even with the distal end without compression. Do not use a soft or flexible tape measure and wrap around the distal end. In this case, the total length is 15 centimeters. The next step is to mark where to take the measurements. Mark every 5 centimeters above and below the MPT as appropriate for that socket design. Then measure the circumference at each of these locations, starting with the MPT. It's important that you be consistent in how you measure the circumference each time. Wrap the tape measure around the limb, staying perpendicular to the limb without applying compression. At this marked location, the circumference is 35.4 centimeters. Once entered, select the next field in the portal and measure the next marked location. Again, be consistent each time with how you measure the circumference. For this location, the circumference is 35 centimeters. Input that measurement into the portal. Move down the next marked location, take the measurement, and enter it into the portal. The circumference for this location is 34.8 centimeters. If the most distal measurement location is difficult because the tape measure wants to slide off, it's okay to leave that field blank. Next, measure the location that is 5 centimeters above the MPT and enter the circumference into the portal. The circumference for this location is 38.1 centimeters. After completing circumferences, measure the medial lateral distance, even with the condyles, using an ML gauge. Then, measure the proximal medial lateral distance just above the condyles. After inputting all the fields, press Save and the information will be stored inside the portal.